It was different back then, I could honestly say, in 1983. I, um, there was no graffiti around. I, there was no, there was like two crews in Auckland. I had to steal paint because I, uh, couldn't afford to buy it. And I had to teach myself, so it took a long time to, uh, get anything happening. When I was 13, I went and saw Beat Street, which is probably, like, the ultimate hip-hop and graffiti movie, and there were break dancers and MCs and graffiti artists in that movie, and I was a 13-year-old middle-class white boy in New Zealand, and I saw that movie, and for some reason, I just wanted to be all of those things, which is unusual for a middle-class honky from Ponsonby, but I just got swept up. And, and I got swept up in hip hop because it wasn't just graph for me. I started rapping and stuff at, at high school with um, with Slave, my uh, long-term companion, and I started rapping and bombing and just wanting to be a hip hop guy. Well, New Zealand artists are well regarded and highly regarded around the world in the graffiti sort of scene, but I'm not really in that scene. I've sort of grown, I don't really do graffiti anymore, but I know these kids that are rocking planetary skills and they're, they're known for it. They've, they've won trophies at the graffiti jams and stuff. So, but it's, it's a funny world because some people don't want to break into the art world. And I didn't never thought I did either, but I actually do. So it's sort of, um, graffiti will always sort of exist in this sort of um, sub-sector of, of the world art scene because uh, people don't want to be fine artists and get in galleries. They just want to bomb walls and they want to do illegals and stuff. So it's, it's going to happen the same all over the world. Every now and again, someone will break out of the graffiti scene and sort of become part of the art world. I mean, of course, the most obvious and hugest example is, is Banksy. So it's sort of, but not every graffiti artist wants to be the next Banksy because because it's hard work and most of them are lazy bums. <laughs>